On this video, we're going to show you one of the most requested features that we've ever had at Stream 101, which is the DJ uh, account feature. Um, before, you'd have to trust your DJs with your master password, and it would give them full access to everything that you saw in the account. Now you don't have to anymore. With the uh, special DJ management portion, which is found under the configuration tab, we'll click on DJ, we're at this page, we just cre create a new DJ account. So let's uh, let's go ahead and create a test DJ with a password of password, and we'll call this uh, test DJ me. Okay, so you've got status enabled or disabled. So you can go ahead and uh, disable it, keep them on file in case that DJ is on a la uh, leave of absence, something like that. Now. Here is the uh, best part here, are all the features that you can allow them to have or not have. Now, I'm going to pick something that most DJs would probably need, which is going to be starting or stopping auto DJ, starting or stopping the stream, and uh, let's let them view the uh, listeners, but not the statistics, um, and we're not going to let them actually view anything else. But you can see you can allow them to manage the playlist settings, access media library, manage media files, Let's just say that our DJ, his job is to turn off auto DJ and then start live streaming. So that's what we're going to create him an account to do. Disc quota, he doesn't need any, so we'll leave that blank. Now, here's another great feature is our DJ only allows, um, we only allow him on Sundays and Tuesdays. And both of his DJ slots are from 6 a.m. until 10 a.m. So we'll go ahead and allow that. That fits in within time window. It's actually 9.52 right now. So I'll go ahead and save this. All right, and then we're gonna log out here. And now we're gonna log in as that DJ. So now we're logged in. Now as you can see, the configuration button's gone, but we're allowing him to see the recent tracks. He has the ability to start uh, and stop, reload the server. He's got the statistics, the listeners page. Okay, but that's about it. That's all he can do. Of course, they're going to have access to the quick links. They can't do any damage with that. Um, all right, so we're going to log back in as the uh, main account holder here. Uh, let's give our DJ a little bit more permission. So we'll go in here and uh, we're going to remove the ability for him to start and stop the stream. Uh, but we'll go ahead and give him the view statistics and view logs this time. Um, and then his shift just changed to 9 a.m. So we hit save, we log back out, go in as test DJ, password, super secure of password. Now, as you noted, um, it's 9.54 right now. We tried to log in as test DJ. Now it says this DJ account is only permitted to log in on Sundays and Tuesdays between uh, 11 and 2, which is actually... Um, given in the standard time format. Um, this is is dependent on the server setup. We have our server set up so it's all based on standard time here. So we'll go ahead and log back in. We'll give him permission to um, you know still see the account and log in now. So we'll log in as test DJ. Now we're, we are permitted to log in. Now he's got a couple other options. As you note, the ability to start stop stream is gone. Report option is there. Okay, that was there before. Um, or I'm sorry, the report option was not there. Um, the listeners option was here. Okay, so here's the listeners. Now he can see the logs. He can see everybody connecting. He can go to the reports and see the total listening hours and all that stuff. Um, so we'll log back in as the uh, main account holder, go to the DJ's tab, and uh, DJ no longer works with us. Real simple, we just delete the account. Um, account's gone, DJ can't log in anymore. So that's how you set up the uh, DJ portion of the Stream 101 Media Control Panel powered by Centova version 3.